And now we have the safeguards mechanism before the parliament, and of course, those opposite are voting against it. And the member for Bass, to her credit this morning, uh, pointed out uh, the issues uh, which were there. Now, in the 2019 election, uh, the member for Hume promised to reduce the wholesale price of electricity to $70 per megawatt. $70 by the end of 2021. Spoiler alert, Mr Speaker, spoiler alert, it didn't happen. When they left office, not $70, not even $170, not even $270, but $286. Mr. By that much. Promise 70, got 286. The member for Hume will cease interjecting, particularly with those interjections. And I'll hear from the Manager of Opposition Business. Well, Mr Speaker, on relevance, a very specific question about the promise to cut power bills by $275 every year. Uh, Speaker Jenkins ruled on these issues, uh, and indeed you've ruled on these issues. I'd submit that the Prime Minister should be asked to be directly relevant to a tightly worded question. The Prime Minister was asked about uh, commitments he's made about energy prices. I'm going to ask him to return back to the question. I'll give him the call. Thanks very much, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker. The, the of member course, for Barker. One of the things that we haven't done is to commit money, like $4 million, that was committed to the feasibility study on the Collinsville fired power plant. Those opposite, the those opposite Hunter. also promised a billion dollars that was going to deliver 3,800 megawatts of new power generation. How much did the you deliver? Prime, the Prime Minister will here. pause, and I'll hear from the Leader of the Opposition. Well, Mr Speaker, I just think your ruling is being treated with complete contempt. Yeah. You gave the Prime Minister a very clear instruction. He defies that direction from you. He will not mention this figure. The he has broken his promise and he Dunkley, can't speak with a straight seat. tongue. The member for Dunkley can cease interjecting. I can't hear what is being said. Members continue to interject. They will be warned and asked to leave the chamber. I don't need any assistance from the Leader of the Opposition. I'm going to ask the Prime Minister again. He's been asked about his commitments and energy prices. He is being relevant as long as he sticks to his commitments and energy prices, and I give him the call. He's had a preamble. He's got one minute left to go. Thanks, Mr Speaker. And I've spoken about Did what we... What the, the Leader of the Opposition... The Leader of the Opposition... The Leader of the Opposition has asked his question. I appreciate he wants an answer. So do I. Order. Helping's a funny way. But I will call the pro order. Call the prime minister. Thanks, Mr. Speaker. And I've spoken directly about what we have done as bringing legislation. The member here, for Deakin is now here, warned into this parliament about relief on power prices, and those opposite voted against it. One point five billion dollars, and those voted against it. They did promise a billion dollars to deliver new power generation. You know how much they spent? Zero. Zero. Zero not a single kilowatt. Not enough to light a single light globe from those opposite. They failed in government and they're failing in opposition. 